And we're underway at Exploria Stadium in Florida. Here come Orlando Pride with the early strike. Dealt with by Haricic. I think that was always going to be comfortable for the Dean Haricic there because there wasn't really much pace on the ball. That's quite a bad turnover in the middle of the park from Danny Weberholt. But in the end, I think it's always going to be a comfortable save. Ali Watt making her first start of the season last week. Melissa Thompson certainly saw what she can do from this kind of position last week. She's going for it again. And why wouldn't you? Following on from last week, you can see that is the only thing on Alyssa Thompson's mind. Get the ball out of her feet. Her teammates know it's a good ball from June Endo here. Nice little turn. I still think Orlando Pride need to get closer to her. But there's only one thing on Alyssa Thompson's mind, and that is hitting it into the top corner. Well, no one's missed a penalty so far this season. Seven have been taken, all have been scored. And it's Claire Emsley stepping up to take it. Oh, Savannah McCaskill, who took all five of their penalties last season. And it is Claire Emsley. Up against Anna Morehouse. Scotland against England. Angel City to go one up. Against Orlando Pride, the home side. It's Emsley. Beautifully done by Claire Emsley. And Angel City have the advantage. The pace of Alyssa Thompson causing absolute havoc in that back line. And the visitors are ahead. Great composure from Claire Emsley. It took an eternity for the decision to be made. And fair play to her. She took her time and put it in the back of the net against her former team. She spent one year with the Orlando Pride. And we can see it here again with drill on Alyssa Thompson. Penalty all day long. I feel for Madrill because she was trying, but as soon as you get the wrong side of Alyssa Thompson, and that's a great finish from Claire Emsley. Anna Morehouse goes the opposite direction and nice and composed. Fantastic penalties in the first couple of weekends, Jackie. Really, really good. It's not an easy thing to do. Oh, this is a good run by Adriana. This is better. This is better. What about the end product? And the finish. Absolutely nice. brilliant play. Well, that's the best bit of quality we've seen in the first half from Orlando Pride. Adriana bursting clear of the Angel City defence and Bright was in there, what was in there, just off balance. And it comes to nothing. Absolutely brilliant play from Adriana down the right-hand side. She's had a really good first half. Steph Hines team talk into action. Swung in by McCutcheon, not dealt with, still not dealt with. And Strom was in there with a the strike. Good play from Ali Riley. Way to be in the right place at the right time. Nice and positionally strong, and she managed to get a clearance in the end. But again, really good play from the Orlando Pride. It's a good ball in from McCutcheon from the right-hand side. You can see it becomes a half chance. Sarah Gordon tries to clear it. Cardi Strom gets the, tries to get the shot off, and Ali Riley, really, really good defending. Her and Emsley not allowed second on the ball. Oh, Messiah Bright bursting through the centre. Messiah Bright, she's gone all the way through. Messiah Bright off the bench and onto the score sheet for Orlando Pride, and they are level. And that is her first NWSL goal. And it's a big one for her club. Absolutely brilliant. She deserves that. She came into this game really good winning the midfield from Kylie Strom. Fantastic, nice, small ball, small, short ball from Erica Tamrak. But Messiah Bright, absolutely brilliant to get past Reed. It was a willingness in Sarah Gordon because these two players, Reed and Sarah Gordon, they're very difficult to get. Past. Now, what can Angel City do here? McCaskill. Aiming for that far post and had to be tipped over by Anna Morehouse. Anna Morehouse did very well here because I'll have to have a look, look at this again because I think Savannah McCaskill, knowing her, she probably could, she probably meant that to a certain degree, but I do think she was probably looking for Simone Charlie 
as well. But she does have that in her locker. She's so creative. And I wouldn't be surprised if she wasn't going for that. But that's good positioning for Mana Morehouse to tip it over. About the delivery. There are players in there. Oh, what a chance. And the second time of asking. Oh, that was a glorious opportunity. And the penalty's been awarded. Possibly for handball. Oh, Weatherholt. Well, it was McCutcheon. Now, the laws of the game have changed on this. If a player is falling naturally and just breaking her fall, then it's not a foul. If the defender is just breaking a fall with her arm and it hits their arm, that is not supposed to be a foul. So this will be interesting. So for the second time in this game, Claire Emsley steps up against Anna Morehouse. Can she do it again? It's Emsley. And it's saved this time. Morehouse heroically saving the penalty with just 90 seconds of normal time to go. Can Angel City find that moment for their first win of the season? They can! They've done it! And it's Katie Johnson off the bench. And Angel City surely now have won their first game of the season. Heartbreak for Anna Morehouse. Heartbreak for Orlando Pride. What a moment for Katie Johnson in this crazy, crazy game. Wow, that is a fantastic ball into the box from Claire Emsley. Fantastic ball. Kay Johnson gets across. I think Anna Morehouse, she's going to ask questions of the goalkeeper. I was critical of her last week. I think she's had a more comfortable game with a penalty save. But if the goalkeeper comes, they have to come and take the ball. And that is probably the last play of the game.